So this video is probably gonna be a long one or a short one, depending on how I'm able to uh, put things together. So I've had encounters where I meet people for the first time and during conversations when um, they do discover that I'm with a European woman or a Dutch woman and that we've been together for seven years or we've known each other for that long and we're married and everything is fine. Often the reaction is one of shock or amazement because they have heard different from other people or they've actually experienced, you know, different uh, being in relationships or relationships with these, you know, foreign women. And when you delve deeper into their experiences, it's often, you know, they start a relationship and everything is nice, it's great until they get married and some responsibilities are required of them. And often those responsibilities seem too difficult for them. So they think that um, those women are difficult when they ask them for certain things to be done or to be responsible for certain things around the house. And you hear stories like, you know, I know this guy who got married to a European woman. They moved to Europe and um, the woman is just giving him so much tough time. And you ask about the tough time and it's often around the fact that, OK, so they moved there, had a child and the wife requires him to take care of the child. I said, babysit, clean up, cook, clean the house equally not only the person and whereby if it's only the guy doing it, it's most likely the fact that the woman has to go, the woman has to go to work. So you're the one in the house. So if you're finding it difficult to find a job in Europe or wherever you find yourself with a foreign woman and you're required to take care of your child because you do have the time, most of those people feel emasculated and think that it's dehumanizing that they are required in a partnership with somebody to actually take care of their kids and the home when their partner is unavailable. And I find it rather strange that, of course, I mean, most people grew up with certain traditional ideologies or cultural ideologies that work for them. But if you're going to end up with somebody else, you should have already known that it's a different ball game from what you're already aware of or what you already know. And they feel emasculated by these things. So I'm here to tell you that if you're going to end up dating a European woman or a foreign woman from any other country who's a modern woman who's holding her own, these are some of the things that if you do not... Uh, agree to, then you might as well not even enter the relationship because it won't work. And some of these things that I'm going to say apply also to um, modern Ghanaian women because I find that I encounter, most of my friends actually, are modern Ghanaian women who will not kotow to you because you are a man or, you know, basically respect you or submit to you because you are a man. If you do find somebody which every now and then happens. So relationships are between two people, two different uh, experiences. You come together, you try to find a balance. If you find that balance with somebody, even in a modern day where you have a working woman who still believes that they should cook for their husband and clean the house and do everything and still take care of the child while the husband does only one part of what's providing his equitable part into the relationship, that's fair, that's fine. Nobody is saying that your relationship is bad or poor in any way. No, but if you find yourself with somebody who doesn't think the same way as you do in terms of these responsibilities, then I think it's something that you should note and realize that you may have to change your ways or find somebody who fits your way of thinking or way of doing things. So the traditional, uh, no, so the modern woman or the modern European woman or the modern African woman will not, um, there's, first, there's no um, concept of head of home in a modern traditional, a modern relationship, not a modern traditional relationship, a modern relationship. There's no concept of head of home. The familial structure or in what organizational structure, if you're going to say it in that way, is not upward. It's rather side. So it's beside you, you know, beside you, you are partners side by side putting effort into pushing the relationship forward. So whereby you think that because you're a man, you should be head of home and what you say counts and stands and it's final, it doesn't work in this sense. If you are somebody who also is into traditional gender roles where the man does this, the woman does that, and that's how you function, 
it doesn't work with a modern European woman or modern Western woman or modern African woman for that matter, or modern woman, plainly, for that matter. So if these things are things that bother you, by all means, please do not date these women if you encounter them. I often find it strange that somebody thinks that, for example, um, it's, humili it's humiliating that you are in a foreign country, which often is difficult for you to find work. And your partner has work, so essentially is providing for the bulk of the home. And all you have to do is, I mean, clean up after yourself or cook or take care of the child that you've brought into this world. And these videos that go viral when men are taking care of their children or doing basic human fatherly roles, it's just something that should stop, in my opinion. Because why should you be praised or applauded for carrying your child or cooking for your wife? Or why should it be a big deal? So if this is you and you find it difficult, all I'm saying is you can't be with a modern woman if your open-mindedness is a bit, you know, lacking to some of these things that may happen. The modern woman will also want you to be accountable. Often I find that most men are either conflict averse. And so in their defense, they want to, you know, be aggressive with arguments and say that, no, why are you challenging me? Why are you being a difficult woman? Stop what I say goes and all those things. No, they would want you to speak about things. In my previous video, I talked about some of these things. When you have conversations or arguments, it's it's an equal conversation. Two heads, two smart people, two uh, partners having a conversation. They would want accountability. They would seek that you do as you say. And if it's uncomfortable for you as well, then please, hey, don't go in for these women. If you're not ready to learn, evolve and be an equal partner. Stay away from the modern woman, period. That is all I wanted to share. I thought, hey, somebody needed to hear this before you think that, oh, it's all nice. You know, you're with a European woman. You get to travel. You get to stay in another country. And, you know, you get to have the greener pastures that you sought. N no, bro kill it so that's it for this video and if you find it's useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have completely divergent views from this it's also fine i said before that if your ideologies or your yeah your perception or your way we were brought up doesn't match with this find somebody who matches this traditional sense of thinking and just move with them i'll catch you in the next one peace